go get them. You got them. You want the bad news now? What's that? I never saw him. I was on the birds way up to the left. Oh, look at the hooks on his bird. They're enormous. They, these were all dandy birds. Wow. Wow. I didn't see these coming in the woods. I'm sorry. I, no, I thought good. they were all up there. I was watching him for a long time and I thought he kept going down. And I figured I might as well focus on these guys. So I swung. I got away with it. And, uh, and all of a sudden I saw him coming back up. And then he came right into the spot that I was holding on earlier, hoping he'd come in and make that mistake to come five, ten yards in the woods. And I don't know if you heard me or not. I said, putt. I heard that. But I thought you were going to shoot one of those ones up to the left. No, that was, that's like 50, that was like 55 yards. I wasn't going to do that. I was waiting for them to come maybe 15 or so in, but they didn't do it. And I told you to putt, and you putted, and he lifted his head, and there he lays. Well, how's that to uh, end the semester on the dean's <laughs> list, come out the next morning late, and kill a nice gobbler? Don't get any better than that, does it? It doesn't get any better than that. I didn't have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Instead, I got to sleep in until about 8.30. Come out and kill one. It's not on tape, whatever. He's in the freezer. That's all that matters. So there was too many birds. There was at least five, I think. And then there was another gobbler came from over here off of the other hill and come over in the field. That must have been what it then. There These, was two. There was five or six in two, this bunch. And one. And he came. I don't know where he come from. I don't. I never saw him. But that must, uh, been, that must have been the one that you heard the other day. Maybe it might have been. Well, there's only four of them now. So. Well, today's uh, May sixth, uh, the first week of the Pennsylvania spring gobbler season, uh, slowly winding down. And uh, this morning, we got in here to my buddy's place. I came in late and uh, heard birds gobbling and got a hold of Tyler. He came up and met me and we went after them and they were, they were traveling. Uh, we got out into this field. They were at the other end of the field, which is probably about 250 yards yeah, just about. wide. And they were clear at the other end of it. I started calling. Uh, these birds, five or six gobblers, could never get a good count on them because we were sitting back in the woods. But they came right across the field and right up to us uh, and then went by us. Uh, I was watching the strutter and a couple other birds and I did not know that this gobbler that Tyler shot had sneaked into the woods in front of him and I heard him saying, putt, putt. And I clucked a couple times and out of the corner of my eye, I saw this bird stick his head up. I did not realize I wasn't able to see him until then. And uh, as you can see, uh, he harvested him, and it, he's a dandy bird. He's got an uh, inch and a quarter, an inch and three eighths spurs, and a ten and a half inch beard, which looks like he didn't get through the winter too well with the beard. But uh, Tyler just came home from college last night, finished up a semester at Cal U, made the dean's list. And, uh, Celebrating the day <laughs> with a long beard. So, um, and now I've got a cameraman for the next couple of days. So, we're gonna get out of here and uh, it's time to go to camp and work on the food plots. So, stay with us for the rest of the week.